Hi everyone, we're here at Penny's Garden in North Rocks and she's going to chat to us about seed saving. Over to you Penny. Hi, thank you everybody. So just going to show you a few quick tips on saving some seeds. So the first thing is you've got to let the plant go through its whole life cycle. So it will get rather raggedy and look ungainly, kind of go through the teenager adult stage and then finally it will produce some seeds. So you have to kind of put up with it taking some space in your garden. You just need to keep one plant to keep the seeds. So I've got here in my garden, I've got some, this was a marigold, Himalayan marigold. So these are really easy. You just take the pods, split them up, and each of those is a seed. Now, of course, this should be nice and dry when you're doing this, not pouring with rain like today, but you know, We've just got to work with the weather. <laughs> I mean, if you just leave it um, in your bed, it should just self seed. Absolutely, it? it will self seed. If you're collecting seeds, make sure that you have got your seeds labeled, your plants labeled, and keep your labels handy uh, because the plant may be quite unrecognizable by the time it's ready to produce the seeds. Good idea. Some of like peas or beans are really, really easy. You just let them dry on the vine and then you can just pop them open and put them on a plate to make sure they're really dry, making sure you label. Very important to <laughs> label everything. And then you've got your seeds. Plenty. Yeah. How do you store them? So once you when, once it's out of the pot and it's dried, where do you yes. normally store them? I like to use just something like paper bags. Try to I try to avoid plastic uh, in case there's any humidity around. Um, but do you keep them in like the cupboard or the fridge or? Oh yeah, no, I just keep them in a cupboard, nothing too fancy. Yeah. I belong to Permaculture Sydney West, so part of the Seed Savers team. So a lot of my seeds I give back to our group so we can share them amongst our members. Good idea. Let's go and have a look at yeah. uh, my seed zucchini. Yeah. So this to get seeds from a zucchini, this was a Mexican grey zucchini plant which grows small zucchinis. But to get seeds, you've got to let one zucchini grow really, really huge. So this is two and a half the length of my hands. Uh, try to let it stay on the plant absolutely as long as possible, preferably even to rotting stage. So this one had fallen off, so I've cut it open. But unfortunately, you can see these seeds are very translucent and thin. That means that they are infertile and they won't be any good. You need your seeds to be fat and plump. But I've got one more, so I'm crossing my fingers <laughs> that that will work. Otherwise, unfortunately, I'll just have to uh, swap some seeds with somebody else. No worries. Now, if anybody wants to find out about seed saving, how to do it, what, what's the best way? Like, is it just join a group or... Yeah. Well, what's your main resource? Uh, well, for me, I learn a lot from uh, people who have been gardening for a longer time, particularly with the Seed Savers team or other people that garden. I go and talk to them. Crop Swap Sydney is really helpful for meeting other like-minded people or share the Seed Australia. Uh, so talking to your friends, swapping ideas with uh, how to save the seed is really helpful. Sounds there are good. some good YouTube videos and online resources as well. Perfect. Or go on the Sydney Edible Garden Trail. Of course, come and talk to us in person. And visit Penny's Garden in person. Awesome. Thank you very much, Penny. All right, bye.